Well, it's, that's just the beginning of the story. Is that because when you look at what the great leaders do, well, they build close relationships and keep a subtle distance. They lead the way and stay discreetly in the background. They display trust and control what's going on. They are tolerant and they know exactly what they want. They play, plan time effectively, effectively and are super flexible. They focus on department's goals and are loyal to the big picture. They set clear direction and are diplomatic and considerate. He's visory, but keeps both founds on the ground, builds consensus, cuts to the chase, is dynamic and thoughtful, ha has self-confidence and is humble. I mean, it's all true, isn't it? It's all true. We can tick every one of those boxes and say, yep, that's what's needed. So first of all, I think we shouldn't be so hard on ourselves sometimes and say, listen, it's quite superhuman to be able to do that. So give ourselves a little bit of slack. Say, that is hard, okay? And sometimes maybe we should also give some slack to the guy above us or the girl above us and say, okay, I, I understand it's not that easy to be you either. So fair enough. Where we, where we come unstuck here is when we see this as a problem. This is not a problem. It's not a problem to be solved. If we start seeing this as a problem, then we get into big trouble. We've got to change our perspective of that. We've got to understand that it's a polarity. These are all polarities. It doesn't, one is not better than the other. Polarities are two positive things that need to exist together. And they only improve by being there together, if you see what I mean. So they're not problems. We need, we need to see them as polarities. And we need to understand and become much more aware as managers of how many polarities are out there and how we get better at managing them, because that is the art of science of good leadership.